Welcome back to a new video. In today's video, we're going to go over CGI pen testing or what's known as common gateway interface. So if you're a pen tester or if you're a web developer, you probably heard about CGI and you probably use CGI to execute some scripts on the operating system from the web server. So the use of CGI actually, it's a method to execute scripts by the web server. So basically, if you want your web server, be it Apache or any kind of web server to interact with operating system with other programs on your operating system you may use CGI or common gateway interface an example of CGI if you go to a new website and you notice a directory called CGI bin okay under this directory you will see scripts these scripts are dedicated to interact with the operating system or you can say that they are used to they are used by the web server to execute commands on the web on the uh, operating system. So it is useful if you want from the from this admin perspective, it is useful. But sometimes it can be abused, and it can be used in an unintended way. Uh, an example would be passing commands as arguments. So if there are no security precautions applied on uh, the permissions of using these scripts and on the input validation, the scripts can be uh, manipulated in a way that you can pass commands as an argument to the script. And so when you execute that in, from the URL, you will be able to execute whatever command that comes after the uh, ampersand, as an example here. So script.sh, and here I put question mark ampersand to Question mark to pass my command, which is ls as an argument. And ampersand is just a way to execute the command, two commands at the same time. So we execute the script, pass the command as an argument, and perform some kind of RCE, remote code execution or command. Or let me say it's command injection. Command injection. We're gonna be talking, we're gonna be taking an example to demonstrate the scenario. The example is from TryHackMe, admin of cyber. We will be demonstrating the CGI pen testing and instead of just um, mingling with commands from the URL, we will be using Metasploit to automate this process. All right, so show desktop and here we, um, let's take this, all right. So on the right, we start a new shell and here, Let's first grab the IP address of the command, of the machine. So here we go, the IP is here. Let's first scan the machine first. So first we would like to identify the port on which the web server is running. It could be 80, it could be 8080. So first we would like to have a full information about the machine so we can craft our attack accordingly now let's fire the browser make things ready So first we have to identify the version of the web server and then we have to search for the CVE that can be used with Metasploit to exploit the web server. So technically the web server is running CGI and the Metasploit or the CVE is a vulnerability in the CGI. We will exploit this vulnerability with Metasploit. And then we have to identify the flag. So looking at the nmap results, nmap scan results, we see we have Apache Web Server running on port 8009, and we have Apache Tomcat running on port 8080. If you take a look at the Apache Tomcat with the browser, trying to access that, so this is the page. And if you click on host manager, see here, not found, let's get back. 
Okay, let's see if there is CGI bin here. Not found. Let's take a look at the charge. So there is elfwacker.bat script under the CGI bin. So CGI bin. Now, as you can see, when I execute the URL, not found. Seems like we have a typo here. CGI bin, not found. CGI bin elf walker. So indeed, we have a CGI bin directory that hosts one script, which is elf walker. If you read through the script, written by Elf McEager for the best festival company, current time. Debugging info, number of elves, whacked and sent back to work, 28.28.6. So just some scripts that prints some information about the festival company. So our goal here is to execute, is to exploit this CGI bin, right? To see if we can perform command injection. Uh, so if you type, type question mark and ampersand, Let's see this, where is my ampersand? All right, and type something like DAR. You see, I'm able to execute system commands here. Now, how do I know I, how do I know that I should use DAR or instead of, instead of LS? Technically, the operating system is Windows. And that's how I know uh, DR would work. Now, of course, you would do an uh, OS fingerprinting but it's given to us that operating system is Windows. So DIR revealed that we have these um, files in the web server. So basically here we're talking about availability in the CGI bin. So how to exploit that, we can use Metasploit for uh, the automation of the exploitation process. So if we, but first we have to get the CGI and get the CVE number. So if you get back to C to eighty eight, uh, let's look or find the version of the Tomcat. So the version is nine zero seventeen, and taking the version number and searching with that version number in Google would reveal more information about what are the applicable CVEs in this scenario. Now, personally, I would use Exploit Database. Or you can use search exploit from the command line. It's up to your preference. So utilizing the search function, Tomcat Okay, if we try CGI 9 or Apache, Tomcat CGI. So we have one here, let's click on that. And it is Metasploit, so it perfectly suits the scenario. The CVE is 2019. Let's take a look more details about this see what are the versions it can apply to. So we're running win on Windows with enable CMD line arguments enabled, such as our case, the CGI serverlet in Apache Tomcat 900 M1 to 9017. Our version is 9017, so the CVE perfectly fits the scenario here. All right, so let's launch Pitasploit, MSF console. Okay, continue on, and 7 to is vulnerable to remote code execution due to a bug in the way the GRE passes command line arguments to Windows. And that's how we were able to list the files in the working directory by issuing the IR as uh, an argument to the script. The CGI serverlet is disabled by default. The CGI option enabled 
CMD line arguments is disabled by default in Tomcat 90X. Okay. So what version number is the what is the version number of the web server? 9.0.17. What CV can be used to create an interpreter entry onto the machine? So let's see here. The CV work is uh, correct. So we take the CV number. Maybe this is not the intended CV we have to use, but probably, most probably it is. So paste. Oh, CVE. Sometimes I get this, I get things wrong. Hint. So here's CVE. Okay, hyphen, okay. Set your meta split settings appropriately and gain a foothold onto the deployed machine. Now, all you have to do is to configure the exploit in Metasploit with the correct parameters, okay, to exploit the vulnerability. So basically, search tomcat, oh, search type exploit, name CGI well so we have to put uh, more filtering so here name tomcat CGI okay and this is the one we're looking for so let's use that So the options in order to display the parameters. So what do we have here? Our host, our port is already set to 8080 and the target URL. So technically the target URL should be the path to the vulnerable script. In our case, it is slash CGI bin slash elf walker. Dot .bat So, getting back to Metasploit, set target URI, into CGI pin, elf, worker, .bat. Is that correct? Let's check this out. Alright. Set our hosts and of course don't forget to set the parameters for your machine in order to receive the interpreter shell so in my case set the l port is fine the l host is not fine we have to change this to the ip address of the current vpn connection which is this one so set l host and type exploit Now it's checking the target is vulnerable, sending the stager. Let's see the question. So what the left, uh, what's left here is 
putting the flag, okay. And we get the first interpreter shell. Let's drop the shell now. Make sure to manually clean up the exe generated by Metasploit shell. All right, and we are in the CGI bin directory. If I have dir, I would see here the script, and I would see also the flag. So type flag one with the ext. And this is your flag. So that was it. Of course, this is not everything about exporting the CGI. Of course, there are more to that, but that's one way to, or one method to enumerate for vulnerabilities in the CGI uh, applications. So, that was about this and see you in the next video.